What's up guys, it's Natish here. Uh, basically just wanted to update you guys on what's going on here with the bumper and everything. So um, I had the old Kuruma Z bumper that I had. It was a fiberglass bumper and uh, the fitment was awful on it. I mean, I had gapping going on like over here and stuff and like hood contact and paint was cracking. So I ended up getting a brand new Kuruma Z. We actually did a massive group buy through Outcast Garage and uh, the fitment on the new bumper is absolutely spot on. Take a look at that. I highly recommend ordering Kuruma Z's from Outcast Garage. They, they come out absolutely fantastic. Uh, the mesh I got is a metal mesh at the bottom. Uh, they ha I had it sprayed black as well. Closer look at the fitment. It's really solid. Previously I was having hood contact here. The paint was chipping on the bumper. Over here the paint was getting eaten up uh, where this makes contact. There was like a big gap over here. So this is solid. Also, since I had them doing the bumper anyways, the fender here, I had paint peeling. If you guys seen in some of my older videos, there was like a big gap of paint over here. I just started peeling it with a pressure washer. I guess it got worse. So I had the fender redone as well. So take a look at that. Also recently, so the HSD coils you guys knew I had, they blew. Uh, I had them, I originally bought them used, so they did last me a really long time. I put them on in 2013. 2016 right now I even put them through winter and stuff so they lasted a really long time but they did go the back was really bouncy and stuff so I uh, ended up getting a new set of teen coilovers now unfortunately I did have to go with the teen basics because they're just gonna be temporary for now maybe I'll put a much better set in later on uh, the teen basics basically give you height adjustment but unfortunately unfortunately they do not give you uh, dampening control so you can't adjust the stiffness at all so that's the only downside with the teen basics. Um, this is what, height-wise, the fronts can go lower than this, but this is just what they're at right now. Uh, the backs are the bigger problem. The backs don't go any lower than this. Let me, lighting's a little bad on this side, sorry guys. This is as low as the backs go. So I need them to come down a little bit more uh, to get them to where I wanna be. Um, the, there's two collars that I'm gonna have to remove to get it down a little bit lower, but that's basically maxed out. So the teens don't unfortunately let you go in the back as low as they let you go in the front. But the good thing about the teens is there's a lot more room behind the wheel, so I'm not having uh, contact issues at all with the wheel hitting the strut or anything like that. So that's basically the car's setup. The main reason why I went with the teen basics because I'm putting a lot of money into something else right now and it's a surprise for this car that I told you guys about earlier. So you guys are gonna see that hopefully within a couple months before spring for sure. Uh, so that's why I kind of cheaped out on the coils. So most likely in the summertime, once everything's set up, I'll, I'll get a better set of coils. But uh, yeah, I did have to go with these for now, unfortunately. But they're actually solid. The ride is fantastic. They're, it's a really smooth ride. It rides comfortable. It does, let, it does make the car feel pretty agile. I don't like, I'm not, you know, feeling like the, the car could be stiffer, I'd say that. But I, I think a set of sways could fix that as well. Other than that, it's solid. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions regarding the mods, feel free to ask me anytime. Um, yeah, have a good one, guys.